Hi, once again, my name is Joy Kinyaburi and I'm from Meru County, um, specifically Buri constituency. Uh, Samuel Mutari ni uh, si, jita kijana anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm from I'm originally from Nyamira County. My name is Chris Waweru. I was uh, fortunate enough to attend Grand Valley State University uh, in the year 2022. It has been a it has been a wonderful journey. Um, I'm so happy that I made that decision in 2019 to 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 contact Bob and and um and and join the program. I would say it was God throughout. I faced some challenges along the way, but yeah, in 2020 August, I was able to get my visa approved and I came here to do my masters in cybersecurity. And as you can see, God has been faithful and it's been an amazing 2 years. And as you can see, today is my graduation day. There's 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 heavy workloads, and uh, the first two semesters were kind of you know manageable, I, I'd say. But okay, the, the workload is you have to read. You just have to read if you want. Uh, and this is something I tell uh, guys who are coming after me uh, through the program, and they ask, "Oh, how did you get here? How did you get here? How how did you manage this course, for example?" I'm like, you just have to read. There's no shortcuts. Uh, good things come to people who work hard, at least in this country. <laughs> yeah. Good things come to people who work hard. And my principle was always I need to put just that extra 5%. Everybody else is giving 100% morning till evening. If I have that extra 5% and I give my 1 or 5%, I'll be in good shape. So, yeah, it, it was lots of sleepless nights. Um, or very short nights. I'd easily sleep at 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m., 3 a.m., the last two semesters especially because I did my capstone project in my third semester. Uh, and it was a lot of research. You, you're, you're just thrown in the deep end and do some research. Uh, graduate programs are not like undergraduate programs where you're basically spoon-fed, this is the way you go. So you just have to do your own research and come up with something. Um, my program, um, it, it has been good. It's, it's technical, but it's things that you can learn on your own as well. And we have, we had professors who are very efficient and they're always asking you to go see them in case you don't understand anything. They have a library full of um, materials that you can use to further your studies and of course we have YouTube where you can do your own self-learning so it's been a, a good cause I wasn't too familiar with cyber security when I started but you know I have friends who are very good at it who are experts so they were able to you know uh, bring me along and show me where I was lacking sometimes in terms of maybe coding because I'm not too much of a coder but yeah, it's been nice. It's been a nice program, quite challenging, but it's something that you can, you know, you can hack through and be able to succeed and graduate. I won't sugarcoat it. It has been a journey of ups and downs. Um, I've been looking at this gown and it has, it has, it is well earned. It has, it has been, there are times it was really tough. And there were times we were like sailing. My, my first semester was easy. But when I got to my second, my second year, it was really, uh, classes were really difficult. Uh, there were coding challenges at times and um, there were coding challenges. But I'm, I'm saying, I'm, this is from my own perspective. I'm not saying for everyone. And, um, and, um, but, but the lecturers at the time were really helpful in, in, in helping out here and there. So, um, so, it, it's it's challenging, but at the same time, there is help. There are, there are people who are who are there to answer questions, and and you have faculty here who are very. They're just an email away. You ask a question, and it's answered immediately. So, yes, I've, I'm happy. I'm happy to say that. I mean, if you want to come to study here in America, um, go ahead. Lucky for me, my project was um, the best. Uh, project in the cybersecurity program uh, and I had mm. to present it again 
uh, at the project showcase at the school uh, this past week, so which was a good experience in its in itself. So yeah, it, sleepless nights, and my last two semesters have been a lot of research, research, and you know, the more you research, the the better the better a person you become uh, for the market. Uh, I mean, the snow was quite memorable. <laughs> the first time I was like, okay. Yeah. Then after a few weeks, Nico, ah, sister, who knows end up, but I would say the snow and acceptance fear from the people around me because uh ah, younger people don't, you know, because as a new student, I'm an international student, you don't necessarily find good people in this country, but I've met quite amazing friends. So Nezasema Making new friends has been very memorable, experiencing the culture itself and, you know, being able to walk on the stage and saying, I'm a master's graduate from the Grand Valley State University. So, those are the quite some um, memorable moments that I have. First of all, the memories of <laughs> having to live in a college dorm again, <laughs> in a shared apartment with uh, three other guys you know it's it's uh rewinding back the clock to my you know, sort of undergrad days uh but it's these are memories that i'll forever cherish you know and it's part of you know getting to deal with people who you're you know you you come from you having your own house and you have to live with three random people who you don't know <laughs> yeah uh, and also the community that we built here i'm forever grateful for, for it because uh like the guys who who have come recently are like, oh, Apa ni Kenyandogo, you know? Yeah. <laughs> GVSU ni Kenyandogo, yeah. yes, for sure. So it's it's been really a journey for me. I am grateful for all the experiences that I've had with the community here. And um, yeah, all the experiences that I've, uh, the chances and opportunities that I've got uh, from just being here at GVSU. You are watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, presented to you by the International Scholars Program. The International Scholars Program is an award-winning international education financing scheme that helps bright students to pursue graduate studies abroad regardless of their financial background. You can find our programs by going to www.internationalscholarsprogram.com. The International Scholars Program, Empowering Dreams. Jitume. <laughs> it's that simple. Jitume. Uh, you can... Change will only happen if you make the change. Right? Uh, nothing will come easy. You have to make sacrifices. You have to make hard decisions. And only... Good things only come out of... The, the tough decisions that you have to make in your life so it's uncomfortable it's it's hard to to make the transition um you will rub uh, shoulders badly with some people family and you know acquaintances and all you will grow distant with um, you know your friends from home your family but yes there nothing good comes out of comfort you can only make the change then the changes will come to you um, so keep on pushing. I know sometimes, you know, you have to have a school work, you know, when you're trying to make all your bills or your ends meet and you still have to keep up with your classes, just keep on pushing and just know, even though it's just the two years kind of seem long at first, but, you know, it's nothing because I called my mom the other day and my parents and we were like, Yani Meisha, you know, you never expect those two years to actually end. But yeah, as Meisha, just keep on pushing Okumbuke, what brought you here? And your feeling, your Kumaliza, it's very good. Unaskianga, it's a very good feeling. Unaskia, you top of the world. You've made, ukona something, unazambia, you know, wajuku wako, or, you know. Yeah, I'll say, I'll just, my advice would be, take the, the leap of faith. Uh, I know that the, the if you're pursuing, if you're still in Kenya and you're trying to come here, I know it, it can be challenging also. Um, I think yesterday I had a speech of Nelson Mandela. I think you're the one, uh, Wilfred, <laughs> you're the one who was saying that once you cross one mountain, you'll see other mountains. Yeah. So, so I think I, me when I when I got the visa, I thought my life, 
um, I thought uh, I've just crossed. I, I mean, obviously, I crossed one mountain, and I I thought my life in Mefika and in Mefika Sasa. But here you find other challenges. I mean, you have to get that degree. Now, now we have another mountain. You have to get that job. Um, there are mountains, but but God is always there. He walk. He he walks with us, and um, uh, um, you, he's able to take you one step at a time and you're able to attain uh, our goal. First of all, I would not be here without my family, the support that um, all my friends and family have accorded me thus far through the journey. Um, I'm forever grateful for their support and I will not let them down. I'm their number one representative. And of course, the aim is, like you said yesterday, is to you know, to build ourselves and build back home so that we have, you know, more of us making it here and yeah. making a life, a life for ourselves, you know. It's, it's, it only gets better when everyone is, you know, when, when you're all sitting from this table and eating from this table with your friends and family, then that's when I will have succeeded. Right now, I have not succeeded. But when I'll be here seated with my with my brother, with my my nephew, my niece, for example, my cousin, yeah. then that I will know that I have succeeded in, you know, uplifting a community and changing the life of someone else. I don't want to get emotional because uh, oh, we knew. It's been the last year for me was quite a struggle, I would say. Master's capstone, you know, coming up with coding zingine nilikwaz. Likwaz na nikula kili, but... Yeah, I used to call my parents, now Lilioko, now Ambiani. Kamui Masters was not meant for me, but yeah. Mom, Dad, I'm very, very grateful you guys let me go. So, you know, as a firstborn, see, I see your parents cook actually, evil too. And uh, so I know it was kind of hard for us to actually make this decision, but I know we don't regret it. It's the best decision yeah, I've ever made. Okay, among the best decisions which I make, but yeah. Uh, I want to say I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Niki wapigia time differences. You know how crazy they are. Muna chukwa angasimu. Muna ni encourage. So, yeah, I wouldn't have made it this far without you guys. So, thank you, thank you. And this is a day of celebration for me and you guys. So, how pena sana? Uh, my parents have come here to celebrate this this achievement. It was a two-year achievement. And... um. Um, I, I, I want to tell them that it doesn't stop here. We, I still have a lot of work to do. I, and this is something I was actually promising my mom that um, we still have a long way to go. And um, I still have a lot of hard work and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not stopping here. And I'll keep on pursuing um, my own interests and my own passions. And um, my end goal is I'm, I'm, I want to grow my career in cybersecurity and I want to improve my life. Um, um, financially and, and mentally and um, emotionally, spiritually, all those ways. I want to improve it. And so I still have a long way to go. Um, this is just a culmination of something that I've worked for for two years. And, and there's still so much more in, uh, and the future is bright. Yes. Um, keep doing what you're doing because you're changing so many people's lives because... No many people on your party opportunity, you know. It's rare sana to let a maju, a to have the guidance to move abroad. So, what you guys are doing for many students, it's amazing. And you know, some of us don't take it lightly because we have met the idea. Come and see, Nina, to get to in your quarter, you let dream. In your quarter, personal corner, say my two. It's more than three and a maju, but you know, I actually actualized it now. Yeah, and I have a master's degree now, so it's a good program. It, it's changing many lives, and I know they will keep on holding our hands even after they're um, graduating and finding jobs out there. So it's a good program. Yeah, so keep doing what you're doing. You're changing lives out here. So I want to say thank you to Bob, and uh, I want to say thank Bob to, to Bob and you, Wilfred, uh, for the help that you... You have given us in this journey uh, you you are really helpful in bringing us here actually my parents have been saying the same thing thank you thank you all the time so 
and I'm, I'm really fortunate that I was able to make that first text. It was like God had told me, make that text, uh, text, text Bob. The program has been our backbone. And I tell people, I, have, I, have, I still have relatives in the program. I have, I have a, a nephew and a niece in the program. And there's, you know, they, they have the, you know, uh, what's happening? And I'm like, guys, just be patient. Trust the process because my process was not easy either. But I have faith in the program. Everything, you know, works as it should and in good time. So trust the program. I believe in the program. You know, it's, it, it took me out of a rut that I didn't think I'd get myself out of. So yourself, Bob, and the entire team, you're doing a fantastic job. Um, I'm forever grateful to you guys. You have been watching Success with Bob Witty Show, brought to you by the International Scholars Program. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful international student abroad through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to the International Scholars Program on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn.